John with hookahjohn.com here. Uh, today we're gonna do a little comparison on bowls. You guys know all the bowls we carry here at hookahjohn.com. What we've got here for you are flying saucer bowls. That's the first one that came out. Then we had the Harmony bowls. You're familiar with those. Excellent bowls right there. And last but not least, the 80 feet bowl, which is doing pretty well. That is my favorite bowl, by the way, the 80 feet bowl. Definitely my favorite. Now one that was out there over the years was the flying saucer bowl okay we phased them out for a little bit because the older versions i just never liked them not too much anyways i'd use them but it, definitely not an everyday use right here you can see our the ones we made from a couple years back and you can check them out spires are a bit high a bit thin so now what we're doing is making the spires a bit fatter and shorter so you can check those up close and in detail now we want to show how you pack one of these all right these are all available on the site right now as is that's the current shape yeah they vary a little bit from each one to one but right now we're gonna be doing a little cashmere and pear mix and right now our boy is uh, packing them this is how you pack one this is the finished product right there all right so you can see the holes are exposed just at the perfect amount and he's packing it in you know tangiers takes a while now i haven't used this with tangiers for a long time so i'm gonna ask you um do you pack it down tight or is it loose uh it's like a semi-tight pack i don't i never really pack down semi-tight pack and you never really packed it. that's one thing i noticed lately yesterday um i filled an 80 feet bowl and i did a semi-pack i used i'm used to palming it down and i don't feel like palming it down anymore i got lazy and decided to um, be loose with it, semi-packed. So there, that's the finished product right there. And we're gonna take you over and show you how it's smoking right now. All right, I'm gonna have to pause and come back. So this will be a two-parter. It's a little bit more up close for you. All right, these are called the Flying Saucer Bowl. All right, nice new colors, new design. It's not a huge difference, but you know, it's just an improvement, yeah. All right, be back in a bit. Actually, a quick note on packing. One thing that uh, we wanna change is that you can actually pack it to the tip of the rim, which is pretty good. So what I wanna do to show you a little bit more is um, show you how we put foil on these. There you are. are we focusing in? Yeah, you can tell good old Tangiers. You can tell here that the holes are exposed for airflow. And some people like a wide open draw. I like it a little bit restricted. And we'll see how that works out for you. Are we gonna get clouds? Everyone's got a big hard on for clouds these days. I do too, I gotta admit it. And this is a bit tricky to put foil on, right? Yeah. So. It never comes out nice and drum tight it doesn't it comes out drum well what happens is the edges fold down you get those ridges in the middle yeah, you or get on the like top. one of these yeah and you gotta kind of press that apart or spread it apart it's like the best it'll get that's the best it'll get it looks like a <laughs> looks like the top of a flying saucer from the 60s you remember those flying saucers all right so let's get that thing those are little windows your little spaceship that's a cockpit in there looking into anyway so using a fork with one prong on it nothing major it doesn't have to be all the way down good enough for airflow for the coals and there we go we're going to pack the other one just the same as we did there and we're going to are you pulling tight on that? Yeah, try to pull yeah, tight. Yeah, I'm okay. trying to fix it right now. And yeah, see how it's a little bit flatter than most, so your coals shouldn't be in too much danger of of falling off. I mean, there's it's definitely not flat, but it is just raised up, uh, mounded just a little bit. All right, so we'll be back in a little bit. All right, we're back here. Um, I want to show you what we did here. We just put three coals on it. Uh, that's what was recommended to me by someone who really likes the flying saucer bowl. Now this is Tangiers and it's smoking totally smooth. No harshness. It's pretty good. Uh, we even found this 
random old dude on the street and decided, oh, hi, doggy. We found this random old dude on the street and uh, he said if he likes hookah. Asked him if he likes hookah and he did. So, any opinion on this? Do you care? Perfect. Oh, oh, hold on, look at him. Perfect, perfect. That, that's it? Perfect? Okay. Now, if it was up to me, or it should be up to me because this is my hookah that I'm smoking, we would do this. Anyhow, it's a great bowl to experiment with, so I just wanted to show you the new improvements on it, and that's it. I'm going to continue smoking. You guys check out the Flying Saucer Bowl and tell us what you think. See you guys.